<laughs> all right all right <laughs> okay welcome back to my channel guys mama p in the kitchen again today i will be cooking up with some love all right what you making i'm making jamaican escovich fish nice all right all right so here's all my fish mm -hmm. okay here's my carrots my onion white onion my scotch bonnet pepper, my bell pepper, which is optional. And this is all my spice. My adobo, my black pepper, my seasoned salt, my salt, my all spice, and of course, the vinegar to put in the fish. All right, nice. I am just gonna make a little pour in the side to get the seasoning down in there. This way they will taste really nice. Right. Let me just rinse them one more time. Those are my four fish. I'm going to dry them up and put some spice on them. pepper a little seasoning salt not too much though and some adobo that should be good okay so mom like how much did how much seasoning that you put in that con little container I put like about a uh, half a teaspoon of each one of my spice on there okay so now i'm going to put some in the fish but i'm not going to put too much because i don't want when my fish is fried for it to burn i don't like when my fish look dark so i just put a little just to make your fish real tasty but not to burn I put some in the sides but not to let them look burn when you fry them put some in the belly some in the core right here you see not too much this way they don't burn and I fry them I hate when my fish burn all right so I'm gonna leave them there for a couple of minutes maybe about 15 minutes for the seasoning to soak in I noticed you cutting everything, so you're gonna use the whole pepper, including uh -huh. the seeds. Uh -huh. this pepper, I think it has a little bit of seeds in there. But for anybody who don't like pepper, pepper, just use half of a pepper. Half a pepper, and don't use the seeds. Mm-hmm. Because with this, I'm taking out some of the seeds. I'm going to pour some vinegar over it now. That was like what, a half a cup? Yeah, about. And I'm going to put some all spice in here. Okay, so now that my fish, they are ready. Mm -hmm. So I'm removing them back to the basin. 
This is where I'm gonna take them outside to fry. I don't like frying fish in the house, so. Mm -hmm. And this is your favorite type, right? Yes. You love the goldfish. Yeah, and this is the goldfish. Yes, her favorite type. type. She she loved this I, one. This, this is the type. Favorite she type to fry. To yeah, to for escovite. Yes. <laughs> yeah, to escovite. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. these fish carry a lot of bones, so some people don't like it. But I like the taste of it. It gives you a real nice taste when you escovite it. Nice. Yes. So now I'm ready to go in with my fish. Ooh. We're going to fry them on each side for about three to five minutes on each side. Alright, so now I'm back, I'm going to check on my fish. Alright. So nice they look and they're not burned. You just find your fish, that's how they're going to look like. Right. Alright, I'm going to turn them again to see. We need to fry a little bit, but I don't want them to burn. So, so nice and pretty that look. Wow. And this, these fish don't take long to fry, you know, because they're small. I'm going to take this one out too. Okay, so this is the finished product of the fried fish. So now I'm going to make the vegetable to put over it. So I'm gonna set this on to the stove. And um, when you saute in the vinegar with the carrots and the pepper, then you put two tablespoons of the oil that you fry the fish into in the Vinegar, well, vinegar mixture. about three tablespoons. Because that is going to give you some taste from the fish in the in the, the sauteed vegetables. I just want to saute this for about two to three minutes yes you don't really want the onions to be like overcooked overcooked it just and has to be a little raw a little mm. crunchy yeah crunchy you see how it look with the oil in there you put a little oil in there you cannot change the, the um the look with the carrots and everything that's gonna be so delicious about two to three minutes and then that will be ready all right so this is about ready now so i'm going to turn off my stove and i am going back inside the vinegar over it to the allspice and it just give it that nice flavor and then you just dress it up with some bell peppers if you like to eat crunchy bell peppers and there you have it escovitch fish
nice you can heat this with bread roast bread food if you are jamaican and you know about roast bread food or you can heat it with festival dumpling anything another one of mama p favorite dish so don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you